Uh, Tony, Nicholas, how are you guys doing? Good, thanks. Good. How, how are you? you? Oh, absolutely. This is, uh, I'm happy to take a few minutes to talk with you both. As a fan of About a Boy, it's, it makes me smile to see you both reunited uh, yeah. for this uh, <laughs> so many years Pretty later. Pretty tough to too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, let's get started talking about Jury number two. Uh, Nicholas, this is, for me, this is a different kind of movie from Clint Eastwood. Uh, I don't think I've seen him do anything quite like this. And I don't think I've seen you do anything quite like this either. Um, talk to me about what it was like working with him on this film. I mean, I think the wonderful thing is that this film wouldn't have been made if it wasn't for Clint Eastwood wanting to make it, because films like this don't necessarily get made anymore. And it's a, you know, it's a, a grown-up drama that really looks at the the moral gray area of what it is to be human. Um, and that was what was ex exciting about this character. I think he's someone who gets, you know, has escaped his past and is is trying to be a good person and and live this life that he's crafted and is very hopeful for. And then suddenly he gets dragged into this world because of something that he didn't even realize a mistake he made perhaps. And then it's it's really about that balance of like, can I do the right thing? Well, how does that affect me? And and what is the right thing in all, in all these different moments throughout the story? And I think Clint's the, the perfect filmmaker for that because he's very unjudgmental in his approach and his ability to, to trust, you know, everyone around the crew and cast in terms of letting the scenes and the movie speak for itself so that hopefully the audience can then reflect and, and kind of take what they want from each of these moments. Tony, uh, I love your character, the DA in this film, because she's weighing a lot of different things too, just like just like Justin is. Everybody in this movie is weighing a lot of different things. Uh, talk to me about how you came up with, what, what are your personal thoughts about what she's going through and uh, sort of what she's trying to navigate? Well, this particular case is, is, I mean, every case is important to her. She obviously wants to have the right decision made, um, but it, there's a lot hinged, hinging on it, a lot rests on it for her because it, it, it potentially will provide a bit of career advancement. So there's a lot kind of mixed into what the outcome might be. <clears throat> um, and so as the story unfolds, things that she's at the beginning seems very sure about um, she also starts to question. As I'm listening to you talking about what your character goes through, it's actually the same thing but kind of, you know, to mm -hmm. a lesser extent. But they both have so much to lose um, should it all come out in a particular way. Um, so, yeah, I think ultimately the story is about what you can live with, having to really dig deep and figure out who you are and what you believe in and how to do the right thing if that's what you need to do for yourself. It's yeah. a complicated, it's complicated being human. Yeah. But there's, all, there's, all, there's such big questions at play, but also with Clint's deft, deft direction. Deft, yeah. It, it's never like melodramatic. No, it never feels like, it, ah, it's it, just it's, it's people just being people. There, like our last scene on the bench and we're chatting about, yeah. you know, what is ultimate good in mm -hmm. the world between all of these characters and what's happened and stuff. It's, it's fascinating because you go, well, yeah, I can't, you can't quite figure out exactly the right way for this movie and this story to have played to out. Resolve. I, I agree. I, uh, I never would have considered this scenario ever in my life. So it's a, it's a fascinating film to watch for that reason alone. And of course your performances. Thank you guys. Uh, both of you, I wish you guys the best of luck with the film and uh, thanks for taking some, uh, spend some time with me. I appreciate it. Have yeah. a great day. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks for checking out the show. If you like what we're laying down, please subscribe to our channel and click the bell to receive notifications for all of our latest stuff.